Welcome everyone, Marcelo is my name. I'm the Niche Fragrance Collector and I want to share with you an exciting event that we did in Italy, Florence, Italy. My good friend Kevin from an awesome perfume store here in Melbourne called Oligarch. Kevin and I traveled to Florence, Italy to film with a man by the name of Simone Giovannini. He is Italian and he actually is the perfume expert for a company called Boyce 1920, an awesome Florentine brand that's been around since 1920. Now this was a ticketed event and it meant that we were filming in Florence, Italy, beaming that message or that, that technology back to Australia so that the Australian audience can actually watch and experience the fragrances alongside us. Now, all those who participated, uh, participated received this fragrance chart. It covered 10 fragrances from Boyce 1920. They also had two mil samples. So they were able to smell the fragrances alongside us as we were experiencing them in Italy. They were experiencing them here back in Australia. All the cameras that you see in this production uh, coming up uh, was all actually happening. So we had multiple cameras in the store. We did film in the historic store of Boyce 1920. All that B-roll that you're about to see also with the bottles and the fragrance notes, all that, that was all stuff that we had prepared in advance. So we wanted to make this event as exciting as possible for the audience to participate in. We also wanted to make sure that the audience could also engage and interact with us. So you'll see that, that um, I, I was reading a lot of the comments that were coming through. So without any further ado, enjoy an evening in Florence with Boyce 1920. Ciao amici, mi chiamo Kevin. Fratello, fratello, <laughs> my <Ciao>. brothers. <laughs> Why don't you jump us in? Thank you so much. We want to thank you guys for this uh, exciting opportunity. I mean, we, we are here in Florence, in Italy. We're doing something that is on paper when we talked about it. Just a dream. Yeah. And it was a crazy dream because the, the you know, the effort... I mean, I, the biggest thing I was worried is, will the Wi-Fi in Italian or in Italy push this message out to you guys? And I was like, Ooh, I, um, but it, the, I'm going to say the Wi-Fi here is better than Australia. Really? Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. boom, 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 boom. You yeah. know? So right. yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're filming in the historic store of Boyce yeah. 1920. So again, the walls, I mean, this is a medieval city. The walls are like this, you know? Uh, and so again, I was like, oh, you know, please. You know. Yeah. Introduce our brother here. Nice morning. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, of course, from the, uh, the perfume house, the Italian perfume house, Boys 1920. And I'm really glad to join this opportunity that we are here, of course. Beautiful. Yesterday, we had an opportunity to go out with Simone. Yeah. We showed them around uh, the city of Florence. I show them uh, the major attractions and the yeah. cool things that happened. He took us to the cool places that the locals go to. Yeah. So yeah. we were avoiding the big crowded touristy areas. We went to really cool places. Get espresso where all the locals go. So that was a wonderful espresso. Yeah, wasn't it? beautiful. Yeah. And Florence, I mean, the weather here has been just. Pure, well, pure magic. Yeah. Don't want to make you guys jealous. Because yeah, sorry. I, that was another... <laughs> it wasn't a brag. I'm, I'm just... I'm informing you. I'm keeping yeah. you up to date as to what's happening. <laughs> yeah. If you have your chart in front of you, my good friend Kevin will direct us as to where we're going to go. I think we've had a really, really good spread here of the best sellers yep. in the house. Absolutely. As well as the other houses, Perfuma di Forenzi and Ophatology, the new house, which we'll discuss later. But why don't we start off with... Oro Rosso. Oro Rosso, yeah. Yeah. Simone, this is what yeah. is considered as one of your best sellers in the Well, house. definitely. I mean, yeah. we launched it in 2019, yeah. uh, and uh, at the moment uh, it's chilling for the first position with another fragrance, but yeah. that one is absolutely. Yeah. yeah. This Yesterday, when we actually went out together, I yeah. don't know if you remember, but Oof. yeah. I can't forget. So, Simone actually sprayed this. We all took turns wearing a fragrance from the store. You were wearing this, and Two, three hours later, I remember Marcelo was saying, I couldn't stop talking about this. Who's wearing that? <laughs> yeah. As we're, because we all were all wearing fragrances, yeah. but there was one particular fragrance that just kept coming back. The projection was back. just really... The sillage on this was the amazing. The sillage is amazing. Oro yeah. Rosso. Yeah. Oh yeah. my goodness. And it's very warm, sensual. I would define that fragrance. You know, it's perfect for anybody. And yeah. I mean, you feel it's the, the, the saffron notes. Saffron, some blood orange. Yeah, yeah, got it. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, uh, I mean, we are proud of, of this, I mean, of making uh, this fragrance because we can see that like uh, 
several apart from lovers, love it. Yeah. 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 True unisex male. Well, female, female male, whatever. I mean. Sandra is wearing this. My wife Sandra is wearing Oro Rosso. Yeah. As you were wearing it yesterday. Exactly, and uh, Oro Rosso stands for, uh, of course, red golds. And in our uh, collection, the Oro collection has like a. Uh, a higher oil concentrations, you know, so that's why the the, the silage is like this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts on Oro Rosso? You gotta say it like that, Oro Rosso. <laughs> <laughs> this is one that you find. Is it more when the sun's out in the summertime here in Florence? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah. I would wear it on any occasion, like yeah. uh, daily stuff, like daily routine, or yeah. like uh, for wedding stuff, whatever. You know, special occasion. I would say. The funny thing is, I actually was wearing because so before we we came out, I was testing all the fragrances. Yeah. I wanted to see what they were like, how I wore. Melbourne, I don't, I'm going to say it's still very cold. I mean, before we left, it was very cold. Yeah. And Oro Rosso was actually was holding itself up really of course, well. Of on course. On cold weather, it works really well. In heat, on our su Exactly. It projects. So this is a good all-year-round fragrance, comfortably, yeah. masculine-leaning, feminine-leaning. Yeah. It works yeah, either yeah, way. Of course. Yeah. Now, we've got comments here from Angela Smith. I love With it. Pleasure. Vicky, I love it. Rachel. I need to try this one on my skin later. All right, so yeah. here's a thing. Can I share? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the best thing to do, so card is a reference for those who are, are, are new to this conversation. Your card is a reference to give you an idea. If you are comfortable, take off your pants. <laughs> <laughs> if you run out of space. All right, yeah. and the reason why I say this, because you wanna test on skin. And you're gonna, we've got 10 fragrances, and I know that the card, you're gonna, oh, I wonder what this smells like. You gotta put it on skin. You wanna see how this reacts with your own body chemistry. Yeah. There are good oils in here, yeah, yes? Yeah, yeah, sure. Max, Max is saying it's 11, it's 11 minus and raining. This scent is a welcome distraction. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And Ange, yeah. bravo, grazie mille. Prego, <laughs> prego. All right, all right. Next, Next one. Next up, I thought we'd cover Plastic Paradise, one of their floral ambers. So what's um, so if you grab your Classic Paradise, have a spray of this one. Thank you, Marcelo. You're going to hear a lot of this from me. I love this one, but I do. Wonderful. This is another one that I, you know, I love the opening yeah. of this. I love the... Um, well, I mean, people are getting crazy for this. Because yeah. we launched it last year doing Pizzi Fragrance. And oh. uh, we, like, we went like two times since the uh, runouts. I mean, stock, with, without stock. Yes. Uh, it's like really a fruity fragrance. Yeah. What you feel, of course. Fruity, like, fresh. Yeah, peach. Yeah, yeah, peach, exactly. Yeah. Like natural ingredients like yeah. this. Mm. And it's very positive. You know, some, like it's a positive fragrance. It's a happy fragrance. For a good attitude. That's, that's, right. Yeah. that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I was wearing this also in our winter. Yeah. Sometimes you have to be careful when you put a lot of heavy fruit notes. Yeah. It begins to smell, and I say this with love like those cheap cosmetic places. Yeah, yeah. It be becomes very synthetic. Yeah. This was not it. On skin, the peach is very subtle. It's true. Any fruity fragrance should be very balanced yeah. because yes. otherwise it becomes a gourmand and probably people, you know, may not like. Mm. Yeah, so that's why... It becomes synthetic and fake. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's true. This, of course, just mentioned to all the audience that this fragrance uh, is under the signature of one of the most important perfumer, in, of course, in Europe. Christian Carbonell, maybe. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Wow. One yeah. of the biggest names in yeah, yeah, yeah. all in of the industry, of course, industry. in the sector. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Actually, tell us a little bit about the brand. The brand. So, yeah, Voice sure. Nineteen Twenty. What's the name? The, the brand is uh, um, uh, basically an acronym. Uh, that means that stands for Bottega Italiana uh, Spigo. Right. Okay. Spigo. What's that Spigo? Yesterday we, we were talking about uh, what is Spigo. Is how uh, we name the lavanda flower. Bottega is a tiny uh, workshop, who right. of course is set in Florence, and mm. so everything started in 1920, when the grand grandfather of the of the family, Garaldi family, uh, dreamed to open a store here. But at that time it was not possible. So that's we like to you know share. So just to identify that, so 1920. Yeah. World War One. Yeah. So this this man was dreaming a very big dream. Exactly, exactly. And he collected just uh, this spigo, so the lavanda flowers, who used at that time to rip on the like, on the surrounding hills, uh, and just to create like some uh, nice perfume bags or something really, you know, 
but of course at that time it was not possible because you know that was the poverty oh, first of right. all and yeah, uh, right. the Italy uh, go out from the world the first world war yeah. so there was no occasion to talk about perfumes but he dreamed mm. and the dream came through in 2019 when this flagship store uh, got opened. Yeah. yeah yeah how cool how yeah cool. yeah what, what, a, what a history what a, yeah, what a well, heritage to exactly them. that's what we like to pass to spread mm. uh, you know yeah. I find it incredible that all of your fragrances, many of them carry a story behind them. Yeah. Yeah. I want to jump to the next one, which sure. is Sushi Imperiale. So I want to read some of these comments uh, in regards to Classic Paradise. Paradise. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So Debbie is saying, love it. The blending is superb. Uh, beautifully soft. I've been Thank transported you. to Lago di Como. Yeah. 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 Okay. Nice place. Beautiful place. Yeah. Um, then uh, Rachel saying, I've changed my mind. I want it for myself. Oh, you were planning to buy for somebody else. Thank right? you. <laughs> Forget that. <laughs> they can buy their own. <laughs> allora, okay. okay. Yeah, Sushi Imperiale. Yes. Take that fragrance made, made, actually has made the history of the brands because right. it's one of the first uh, that Fragrances. we launched, yeah. of course. Yeah. And the, the name is quite is crazy, you know. Yeah. But I mean, the and the silage is too. Yeah. Uh, you, you you feel like the cinnamon. The, yes. the, the heart right. of the fragrance is made by cinnamon notes. Right. Yeah. It is a kind of dash of bergamot as well mm. in the yeah. beginning. Citrus at the top. top. Yeah. Yes. But it's very balanced. Mm. Yeah. I'm getting. See, for me, I, I feel the woods are there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But it's not that spicy. Do you agree? It's not that spicy. It's, yeah, 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 exactly. It's not that spicy. Run us through the history of how how you came about. With the, the, the yeah, the sushi. Well, I mean, uh, uh, it's inspired by uh, the Orient part, yeah. you know. So the perfume at that time made like a trip, and uh, when he came back, yeah, you know, probably he wanted to Japan. spread. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. To, to 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 show yeah. his passion. They, he, he, of course, he what grabbed it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Him. Yeah. You know what I love about perfumery? Okay, so our smell is powerful. Yeah. The, the, we sometimes underappreciate. I mean, we take a lot of, we put a lot of emphasis on our sight, on hearing, but our smell governs a lot of our emotions and things that we remember. Of our course. olfactory of is important. Course. So I yeah. love it when a perfumer experiences something new yeah. and then reinterpret it in a perfume. Exactly. To capture that moment. This is like a diary of somebody. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah. that. I love yeah. it. There's a poetry in that. There's yeah. a beautiful poetry in that. I asked yesterday because I'm like, why Sushi Imperial? I mean, yeah. it's a, it was a, and then when I heard the story about the perfume or the travel, the Japan, yeah, yeah, yeah. the yeah. capturing of those elements, it, really made, sense. it made sense. Because then we we're covering a lot of other uh, fragrances as well, where we found out that um, many of them were created by the perfumer's story. Right. Yeah. So this is a, a regular occurrence in your house. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, we usually read in the comments when we, of course, we pull, for example, we're making some advertisement with Sushi Imperial. Yeah, some uh, followers say it's like it doesn't smell at all of like, fish. You like know? sushi. Yeah. <laughs> See, I thought it was going to be more aquatic. Exactly. Uh, no, like, no, 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 no. Yeah. It's absolutely a wonderful, balanced, cinnamon, spicy fragrance. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And it, as I said, it, it's still one of the best sellers, uh, even though, I mean, what got produced, it got launched a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For those who are new to uh, niche perfumery, and uh, what we tried to do here is make it, make it easy for people to know, you know, where do you live when it comes to fragrances that you like. Now this one here, you can see it says soft amber. Yeah. Now amber is the new... Term for uh, oriental. That's right. Yeah. So we're, I, I think a lot of us are familiar with oriental fragrances. So lately they've changed that to amber. I'm going to be... I'm still say Oriental. I, yeah, I, I was, I'm yeah. going to be rebellious. I like using Oriental, you know, yeah. because it signifies that it has spicy components. Yeah, that's true. As opposed to amber, which gives you the impression that it's warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas yeah. this is not a warm fragrance. This is a soft Oriental exactly. fragrance, yeah, in my cool. opinion. Yes. Yeah, yeah, for oh, sure. Yeah. And I asked this good man here previously, do you get offended if I say <laughs> something? <laughs> is Oriental. Guys, come on, what are you doing here? <laughs> and he's like, please. please. But, but I don't know, I mean, I don't want to be... Anyway. No. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, so we're calling it Ambers because that's what the industry is now calling yeah. it. But to get a, you know... You guys know what it means, right? Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm actually seeing uh, some of you guys start to spray on skin, which is great to see. 
I think you guys are finding some of your favorites and starting to try it. We'd love to know how it's gonna dry down in the next few minutes, uh, because as you guys know, it's all gonna dry down differently on each person's skin. Yeah, Vicky is saying the cinnamon on a Sushi Imperial is coming out so nicely, it's yeah. beautiful. It does lean. She's right. Yeah, Rachel is saying it's a gourmand, or well, gourmand is, is what she loves. Yeah. Um, Ba, 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 ba. Max is saying, You're all, you are all helping me train my nose. Thank Ho you. Honing in on the cinnamon and the nutmeg. So congratulations, yeah, yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. Well exactly, done. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And you know what? This is a training. You know what I mean, oh, sometimes, sometimes you smell a composition and yeah, you're like, yeah, it's yeah. perfume. It There's smells beautiful. There's always something to talk about perfumes. Yes. Yeah. 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 What would you like to do next? Um, I would love to jump over to, so I'll tell you a little story. Uh, sometimes when customers come into our store, they might be new to the more niche brands. Perhaps they have been just buying designer brands mm -hmm. and then they find our boutique. When they walk in, something instantly captures their eye. It's a board that I have mm -hmm. of the cannabis collection. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> At the back, they're like, oh. It doesn't surprise what's me. What's this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to cover, um, so there are three from yeah, the cannabis yeah, yeah, collection. Sure. The two that we have in the evening today, let's cover the first one, cannabis frittata. Frittata, yeah. yeah. So the cannabis collection, with, with the three, we have uh, the green one, the cannabis, yeah. which I find many customers find it as a very strong, intense green cannabis Thank fragrance. You. This one, a lot of customers, just from feedback yeah, at the, our store, they find it much more wearable because there's this kind of fig fruity... Um, there's the fig sort. inside, yes. yeah. yeah. Uh, the cannabis um, uh, frutasa, uh, we launched it uh, in 2019 at Excellence Fair Milan. Uh, it was a, an internal idea of the company, and uh, we relied on the nose uh, from Milan, okay, called its name, it's uh, Christian Calabro. Yes. Um, the idea was to, okay, to, like, to, to, to make like a boom in the market, yes. saying, because there are several cannabis fragrances in the market, yeah. but they are, you know, mixed with some other ingredients. So yeah. our idea it was just to, to focus on cannabis seeds, okay. Yes. And here, you, I mean, people smell them. <laughs> this is weed, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> weed with a bit of big fruit. Love yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This and is intense. Yeah. It, this is very green. Yeah. Definitely green. The sillage on this, the projection is right. mental. This is, you really need to try it on skin mm. if you want to get the full, you know, every single... Yeah, this, like, I, I would say it's an unusual fragrance in some ways. Yes. Uh, so people, yeah. they are, I mean, it's for... Demanding, yeah. uh, apart from lovers. Let me warn you, this does not wash off. So, <laughs> you're gonna be if you're going to put it on yeah. skin, be aware. This yeah. is a very... So the gentlemen are yeah. saying what they're saying is correct. The sillage on this is beautiful. The longevity on this is amazing. Yeah. So, if you're not sure... <sighs> Don't put it on skin. This yeah, is, this oh, is really green. First. At yeah. least before going to the iPods, let's say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Getting stopped at the face. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. Uh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> it's my perfume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Come with me. <laughs> Funny story, actually. When we first got this collection, um, we actually had a bit of trouble at the customs. <laughs> they gave us a phone call. Guys, what is this? You can't bring this. And I had to explain to them. No, it's a fragrance. It's a perfume in here. So yes, yeah. <laughs> nothing. Yeah. It's just like, I think it's very realistic. Yeah. I mean, if you like yes. that very green, green yeah, fragrance, strong, yeah. it's aromatic. Yep. A bit mossy. Yep. Um, yeah. I actually wanted you to compare this with the new release, which only just came out a few months ago. Yep. The cannabis salata. Yeah. So hang on to your card. Yep. So hang on to the fruit, the fruitata. Yeah. Did I say that right? Fruit. Yep. 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 And see what you think. And compare the two. Yep. Yep. Have a look at how. These two, because independently, they do cannabis in very different ways. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And I like that you mentioned that your idea, um, giving birth to this cannabis collection, was to make a boom in the market. Yeah. Because you sure. definitely have. Yeah. You've just you've not just done one cannabis perfume, but you've interpreted it several ways. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Because of the success of the first two, so the green and uh, the the yellow ones. Yes. We had the idea to launch the third one. Yeah. This is a, a salty cannabis. Yeah. A salty. I like this is stunning. I, yeah. like this. I love this. Yeah. Yeah. There is a salty or awkward in the yeah. heart of the fragrance. Yeah. The aquatic sometimes. Yes. Yeah. This yeah. one that makes I, sense. This you know? one I wear. Yeah. Okay. I find that the frutata is very authentic. Yeah. And original. And yeah. Mm. So if you like that 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 scent profile, fantastic. Yeah. This one? one, this is me more. This is more me. Okay. This yeah. is like a cannabis done in a very yeah. refined, sophisticated mm -hmm. way. 
Yeah. The cannabis note is still there. So that green cannabis note yeah. is still alive. Of course. But it's got that that green, that, yeah, that aquatic... That kind of fresh aquatic yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, component to it. Yeah. As a winter fragrance, everybody, I was wearing this one before we left. As a winter fragrance, it does work really well. And I think, again... Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. All the cannabis collection is very authentic, as you yep. say. Is it the right words? Because, you know, the, the market at the moment is full of ideas. Yes. Uh, they want to so, do something new. Something exactly, different. exactly. And just to release the, the right one, it takes time. I'm, that's why I mean, would like to, mm. to tell your, I mean, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the audience, because yeah. it takes time before releasing a fragrance, even one or one, half, one year and a half. It takes a year and a half. Of course. You need just to make several Correct. attempts, you know, several meetings inside the, the company, yeah. just to change yeah. something, Incredible. you know, yeah. because you know, that's once the you make it, you make, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you make it, you make it. Of I mean, course. That's, that's right. yeah. You were telling us yesterday of how much work goes to just mm. making the bottle alone. Yeah. Because uh, some of you guys may not know this, but some of these, I don't want to name names, but some other brands in the industry, they have it mass made, their bottles in factories, yeah. somewhere in Asia, but you guys really do it true authentic yes exactly yeah. exactly yeah. and so also the, the way i mean yeah. we paint the bottle yeah yeah, yeah exactly yeah. under the bottom uh that's there's of course there is written that that's how you know our point of strength and that's how we paint uh, our bottle or how we sandblast them yes Incredible. these are by hand right? yeah so sure. these are made by hand yes. in like, some scenarios say, frosted yeah. sandblasters yeah you yes. know yeah. so this makes like a fragrance unique. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. Yes. You know. Otherwise, that's... it's just factory made. Exactly. Models. Exactly. It's, it's just a standardization. Yeah. So what, what yeah. we like to do is just to avoid that. Yeah. 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 Otherwise, we are not in the niche market. That's yes, right. That's right. This is true. This is you guys pouring your art. Yeah. And passion into yeah. Absolutely. Your, your creation. Absolutely. Stunning. One thing that I uh, that I'm personally impressed is that the the fragrances, are very uh, complex, very robust, longevity but they're not crazy expensive because sometimes there are some niche brands that I also enjoy, but you're spending in, in Aussie dollars, you're spending $500 plus. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas here, the qual and, and this is the part when I first started having a conversation with you, I was, I'm like, I was surprised. Yeah. The, the, the level of quality for the price that you're paying yeah. is... It's affordable for everyone. Yeah. It's exceptional. We, it's we exceptional. put several attention on raw material selection. Yeah. 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 Trust yeah. me. Yeah. And the fact that you've come out with 50 mils and 100 mils. So mm. it makes yeah. it even more affordable because some people perhaps are a big fan of your brand and want to uh, buy three or four bottles. So yeah. they can do it a bit easier buying 50 mils. Of course. Of many of them. Yeah. yeah. It's like, a, let's say, a, a good way to access just to That's enables right. like people yeah. smelling Goo fragrances. Many of them, yes. Exactly. Yeah. Let me read some comments. All right, so yeah, sure. we're talking about the can the cannabis ones have created a response. <laughs> <laughs> I like Max, he said, a misspent youth. So it's, well, it's not misspent. It, you're exploring. You're exploring <laughs> yeah. things in life. All right. So I uh, got here. I just cannot get past the cannabis. That's from Greg. So Greg's really enjoying this fragrance. Yeah. Um, Nathan has said, oh, Mio Dio, in <laughs> oh capitals. God. This is oh great. God. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> and that was for, that was for uh, Frutata. Frutata. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, so not misspent youth, Nathan, yeah. not misspent at all. So Rachel is saying that she feels that the, the cannabis ones lean a little bit more masculine. So they are a bit more, they are wood fragrance. So they're more woody. Yeah. So on the wheel, you'll see that they're, the woods tend to be, a, a, well, I guess a bit, a bit more masculine leaning. So if you like woods, I know Angela Smith, you love, woody fragrances uh so this would be great for you um we've got here debbie i prefer the freshness of salata i agree i i true. I'd, I'd love it That's too true. uh greg this is one f uh this is one far better for me uh madison saying this one is sexy mm -hmm. um agreed uh, greg is saying agreed with kevin it's cannabis in a perfume not cannabis oh oh, oh. It's cannabis in a perfume, not a cannabis in perfume. So it's cannabis in a perfume, not yes. cannabis. Not actual weed. Yeah, yeah. it's not weed. That's <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So this is a, those, those fragrances, this is an art, a perfumer's interpretation of. Of course. Yeah, of yeah. Course. So they're creating an accord yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. To, to create that. Yeah. Um, Max is saying Salata was one of those scents that had me sniffing my arm for hours after visiting the store. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
I completely agree with Max. Actually, smelling on the card, personally for me, Oh, you're going. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Wait, right. I, I don't have any fragrance. You know how hard it is to not spray perfume when I walked in? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I've got no perfumes on me right now. But we're trying to save it. But I'm saving my skin. Now. Yeah, okay. yeah, because there's a few here that I, I'm, 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 this is the one I want. Um, but yeah, so I, was, I, I feel a little bit naked. And I'm not going to take my pants off, so everybody is safe. <laughs> Everybody's safe. All right, what, what's the next one? I would love to jump over to um, go through with us the idea behind giving birth to a new house under the umbrella, Profumo di Forenzi. Yep. And the best seller that we've included in the lineup is the Montalenti. Yeah, Montalenti. Uh, first of all, let's start from the explanation of well, who is the Montalenti. Yeah. Montalenti uh, was uh, at that time, so I mean, just talking about Renaissance time, was uh, a genius, yep. was a, a sculptor, was a, an architect, uh, was a painter. And he had passion for cooking. So, he made like the recipe of the ice cream mm. and it said that's the why again oh. it's very traditional oh. kevin you know because if you go into an ice cream shop in another city yeah. of italy and yeah. you ask for i mean the ice cream yes. okay you, you, they they don't name it like Bontalenti. It's that's what we call the ice cream here in florence yes. Bontalenti is the ice cream incredible this people if you love gourmand, yeah, there's almost like a lactose. You can uh, like a slight milkiness like a, to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. vanilla that, creaminess. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If they like uh, gourmand fragrances, that I mean, that that fragrance is yeah. sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them. beautiful. For sure. In the whole house, the reason why we wanted to include this out of the whole entire house is because it is there. It's absolutely the number one seller. Yeah. This one, literally every four to five weeks, I sell out of whatever we buy. And that, of course, uh, one thing that you mentioned is the price, because that one is definitely more affordable. Yes. But uh, the, the ingredients, you know, the, the, the oil, the, what we use to yes. make that parfum is, I mean, it's the same quality of Boys 1920. Yes. Yeah. 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 There's this, I get like some kind of cake, coconut, milky. Yeah. That's yes. amazing. I, I love Rachel. You, you mentioned here, uh, creamy it. pineapple mango. And as you wrote, I'm like, Mm. Yes, I can. I'm yeah. getting. I'm getting those vibes. Uh, Greg says that he has this and it's superb. Thank you. Actually, Greg, right in. How long does it last on your skin? I'm curious to know. What's your longevity on this particular fragrance? Yeah. Morgan is saying cocktail vibes. Nathan is saying yes. incredible for the price. And Greg yeah. says I asked about longevity. Forever. I love. I love forever as forever. a time frame. You know, <laughs> forever. You know. Cheers. So yeah. Again, I go back, value for money is yeah. pretty exceptional. Yeah, really, absolutely. honestly, yeah, value yeah, yeah. for money with your perfumes are pretty impressive. I might be getting too excited, but this is you my second, second, this is half, my yeah. second yeah. Okay, I've got to wear this. this is, he's the gourmand king. So I've got, I've got weed and then I have ice cream. <laughs> a good mix, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. mix. The munchie or the... the uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Getting the munchies <laughs> and then the munchies. <laughs> Oh, All right, but I will. Incredible. But I will. Yeah. Okay, so Angela's saying, I'm breathing this in deeply, and so and so often I may just hyperventilate. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one thing I've discovered just on that point from Angela, to, and again going back on Max to train your nose, sort of stop and breathe in the fragrance, mm. and you'll be surprised at how many other notes begin to pop. So just yeah. sometimes we we do shallow breathing, we just sort of, too quick. It's yeah. true, it's true. So just stop. Yeah. Breathe in the fragrance, and all of a sudden, I'm getting we'll pick cream. I got the coconut then, yeah. so you all of a sudden you begin to expand, and your brain will go, "Oh, I'm I'm feeling this, or I'm, or I'm yeah. smelling this, or I'm." That's absolutely true. That, I mean, that point I would like to comment because we uh, usually we are always I mean, in our daily routine. We are always in a rush, but perfumes needs time to be like say investigated. Yes, you know? yes, yes. So it's true. Yes. Absolutely, I agree. You know, yeah. take your time to smell properly whatever ingredients of the pyramids. Yes, yeah. I find sometimes trying fragrances, especially this happens on cards, the, the opening is so bright, Yes. it captures your attention, but then you don't give it enough time to... To the bottom. ...to settle down and, and have the dry down yeah, kind of... Yeah, exactly. Coming, right? I did this on purpose. So I sent out, I mean, apart from the fact that I didn't want to be doing this at the last minute, coming here to Italy, so I sent out those kits early so that everybody got a chance to open up, start testing, already smelling it on skin and allowing it to evolve on it. I'd love to jump to uh, one of the Boys 1920 ultra bestsellers yeah. in summertime in yeah. Australia, 
Ultimate. Yeah. I love this one. I'm gonna give you a heads up. I it, have this one. This is the first one that you got from us, actually. I love yeah. this one. Yeah. Uh, I wear this one in winter. I'm wearing this in obviously in summer. Yeah. But even in winter, and I did a video. So for those who are following my channel, I did do a video on Ultramare. Yeah. That was a, was it a summer? The aromatics? aquatic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. The aquatics. Yeah. yeah. So people, Ultramare, it's and longevity on skin. Mm. It is, uh, this one here is exceptional, exceptional. Yeah. I mean, uh, I will invite all uh, the people who are listening to us right now to check, to properly check their pyramids. Because the secret of this fragrance is, uh, is that, I mean, it's made by, let's say, flora nose. Mm. Yeah. But the result is like an aquatic. One. Aquatic. Absolutely. Fresh. You see? It's yeah. kind of, exactly. Yeah. It almost feels like it has sea salt. Exactly. Yeah, it yeah. has a sea yeah. salt. And like, I feel but like check, I'm... Look, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting so it, there is Sicilian yellow lemon. Yeah, sure, exactly. Yeah, but I mean, the the heart yeah. is made by flowers. You mm. know, it's, so definitely yeah. it's a it's a, an aromatic floral fragrance sense. Yeah. Okay, but the results is something like really aquatic. So yeah. that's the work of the perfumer. Yeah. Every time I look at this bottle standing in the store, I remember what it smells like because for me the smell looks exactly how the bottle looks. Yeah. I also want to say I'd love so for those. This lid here, it has this beautiful weight yeah. to it. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit different to the others. The others have a, a wooden lid. Yeah. This one's a, a, like a silver yeah. this is made, this cap. Is made out of, yeah. yeah. Zamak. Uh, That's Zamak. Zamak. Zamak is the, uh, let's say. metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's how it, I mean, the Zamak is the material that oh, we right. use okay. in order to, it's a beautiful you know, to manufacture yeah. the, the, the top, the cap, yeah. So definitely it's a, an artisanal product. Yeah, yeah. Feminine leaning, also masculine yeah. leaning. Uh, it's something that it works well on, on yeah. either. either oh, product. I mean, sure, for sure, me, sure. I, I like wearing yeah, it. Yeah, that's the, of course, actually it's our concepts, you know, that's our goal because anyone needs to feel in the right way with the, the, the so that's why we don't like to identify or to, 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 to select female. exactly, yeah. Yeah, no, 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 to make like th this kind of difference. Anyone is free to buy whatever he or she likes. Mm -hmm. That's the, gr the, the final results. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. they are happy, we are happy too. Yeah. yeah. I actually would love to know, Marcelo, th being the first bottle that you got from the brand, what kind of journey has this taken you on? And what okay. kind of performance does it have? All right, so here, here are some things. And funny, I was thinking, should I share this, but I don't want to sort of hold up the process. But thank you for the question. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for the question, Kevin. <laughs> Longevity on this is spectacular. So you're getting seven plus hours. Again, have a look at the aquatic um, uh, episode that I did. So I, I went into a lot more detail about it. The one thing that I find with this fragrance here is what I smell, what I'm smelling, is different to what people are smelling around me. They're actually picking up different components. For me, I, I really pick up the very salty marine accord. You That's see? what I pick up. Yeah, All right? So I'm getting a, a, a wonderful ocean vibe think of standing on a cliff the bluff yeah and the sea spray and the smell and the the, the fauna that's around you this is ultramare for yeah, me yeah, okay exactly. ultramare means overseas and the yeah. other reason i love it so much is because it uh, yeah it, of you course feel it reminds like you i mean then there's overseas. a good feeling mm -hmm. yeah all right so it's an overseas smell however when people smell it they're smelling flowers on me they're smelling more of a floral geranium violet a more yeah. floral component yes. to it sure. and i've asked them do, do you think it's aquatic and they're like I guess, yeah, but so what I'm smelling and what the sillage it produces yeah. are two different things. Yeah. I feel like that happens when you create such a complex. Exactly, product. exactly. It isn't just anything linear, it's but, very uh, complex. When people talk yeah. or about, you know, how do you define the fragrance as a quality? That makes sense. So yeah. basically, it, the results of the perfumer yeah. who, I mean, started. That means it, 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 is, he, it was worth it. I was going to say, he achieved yeah, or yeah, she achieved exactly. the goal. The goal well, he yeah. wanted to express. That's right. And that's the right that's thing. That's yeah. right. I would love to jump to the next one, which is the Agumi Amari di Sicilia. Yeah. yeah. We are on the same size as the Sushi Imperiale. That's mm -hmm. the Agumi Amari di Sicilia. Mm -hmm. okay. That's the, the, uh, actually, I mean, to be honest, is the most citrus fragrance we have in the collection. Mm -hmm. yeah. The pyramid is very, let's say, simple. Yes. Because it, it, it includes just citrus ingredients yeah. tell us the name yeah agrumi uh, amari di sicilia means uh citrus from sicily okay mm. so the what you fear mm -hmm. orange lemon uh petty grain whatever reminds like a fresh mm, yeah. purposes yes. for me this is this is italy yeah yes. yeah, yeah exactly yes italia today it's mediterranean size you know? yeah, yeah 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 
30 Italian. degrees, mm. the sun is out today, mm. people are walking, uh, they're visiting the Duomo, everyone's out and about. This is what I really smell in the air. This is what yep. people are wearing. Yeah, exactly. It's perfect for uh, summertime. Yeah. And that, 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 that's the, as I said, it's Italy. Yes. Actually, probably it's even Sicily. Yeah. You know, the, yeah. the, the expression yeah. of the south of Italy. Yeah. When the full plant of, of a plantation of uh, lemon and, and orange. If you drive through the Sicily, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Wonderful. It's very gorgeous. Yeah. Sitting there in your seats, this is the closest thing that will take you to <laughs> Italy. Italy. Yeah. You know the crazy thing, and I know this sounds because sometimes when you travel, um, you you create your own imagination. Mm -hmm. Everybody in Italy smells beautiful. Thank you. Honestly. Uh, as I Thank you. <laughs> but it's true. And I don't know whether it's my imagination, like I'm just... So in Australia, and again, I say this with lots of love in my heart, the teenagers, they wear a certain... Like, it, it's like a, the can... Designer and, uh, rubbish. And yeah. it smells... You can, oh, well, to my nose, it doesn't smell right. It smells... The teenagers smell amazing, to the point that we had some teenagers walk past us. Yeah. Because the school, so they're was, in they're in was, summer vacation, uh, and it was I the last day of school. And I said to Sandra, afterwards, I'm like, they smell really good. Mm -hmm. These kids, mm -hmm. the, the girls, the guys, yeah. they smell. And she's like, I'm smelling that too. So it's not my. I don't think it's my imagination. I think people just know, understand perfect. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. And understand. I feel like it's it's, 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 it's ingrained in your culture. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You anticipate me. It's yeah. just something related to our tradition, our culture. You yeah. know, because of course. Perfumes are uh, something that comes from Europe, mm -hmm. okay? Like actually from Florence, to be honest. Yeah. Caterina de Mejini was a very clever woman, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> well, but basically, uh, she was very, let's say, interested in, in, in perfumes. When she got married to, in, in France, I mean, that's why, I mean, that, that's where they, uh, everything, you know. Happened. Exactly. Yes. She took a fragrance like this. Yeah. She wanted to remember Italy yeah. and the citrus and the bright. That's what I'm saying. When I smell this, yeah. and a lot of people have this perfume. Yeah. I smell this in the air, this yeah, citrus, yeah. This, yeah. this vibrance. And it was, again, Caterina de Medici that oh. created this. Yeah, and, exactly. and really, the birthplace of perfumery in Europe it, it's here. is here. With all due respect. In with, Florence. With, yeah, exactly. With yeah, all, I agree. Yeah, yeah exactly. Agree. So, yeah. Uh, with all the due respect with, with the French people. Yeah. We, we love the French. They, we love the French. They developed the projects. Yeah. But, you know, the original idea, yeah. that's what the story tells, yeah. is, I mean, comes from here. I would here. say this, this sense you would consider the, the birth of perfumes. Yeah. Truly. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. And I feel like every every collector of perfumes and fragrances, you need a scent like this. I do. I in agree. Your collection. I agree. It's yeah. a classic. I it's agree. like I agree. you're into watches, you're into, you know, you need the original. Yeah. 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 This is the yeah. truly the first one. Beautiful. Allora. Next one I would love to jump into. Actually that that might leave us with the final house. Is that correct? Yes. I think we've covered all have you noticed that I've been waiting yeah. to spray on skin? Oh, okay, okay. I was, I was wondering why I've got two and this guy's got none. <laughs> well, see, a lot of these I have. And yeah. so, yeah, yeah. but this, these two here. This house, just before we left, I had only received this a couple of weeks ago and I've yeah. only finished setting it up at, at the store. Yeah. So it's ready for you guys to come try when I get back. Yeah. I want you to walk us through how you came about with this is a brand new house. Yes. Ultrapology. Yeah, exactly. We launched it in 2000 in April 2021. Yeah. Uh, awesome. We invested a lot <clears throat> because of the a new mold. Yeah. You know, that's the for first the bottle. Ex, for the bottle. Exactly. Yes. That's the first step when I mean you, you you want to create something new, of course. Yeah. So start from the from the bottle conception, from the bottle design. Yeah, yeah. thank yeah. you. We're grabbing Ticapo. Okay? Ticapo, yeah. So, so we're grabbing that. Something very close to Australia. I read a guy, it's like a touristy guy from New Zealand, when we were out talking about how we named the, the fragrance. Yeah. And Tecapo is defined as the most romantic place in the world. It's a lake in lake, New Zealand. Lake Tecapo. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So Obvious. that's that's why you know it, it, it reminds like the smoothness, you know, yeah. the, the sweetness of the fragrance. It's very yeah. unique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think we'll send Marcelo the design of the bottle, but it's actually designed with uh, the lake. This is the stone that you'll yeah, find yeah, yeah, on, the, exactly. on the lake. The bottle is like reflecting water. Yeah. Um, and like to. Like to cover in New Zealand is this is what takes you to put this on skin. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, put it please. Did you put it? I've, of course. Okay, okay. <laughs> please, the card. I'm smelling it. Doesn't do it justice. On skin. 
forget about it. <laughs> I was wearing this before I left. Yeah. I shared it with my family. My family were also testing. I don't think there was anybody that was like, this is, this is glorious. This Am- is a beautiful winter fragrance, yeah. summer fragrance. And that's the next street of our farm. Normally you have an eau de cologne. Mm-hmm. The oil concentration is about two to 4%. Yes. You have an eau de toilette. Yep. Concentration is probably about ooh, five to 10% if you're lucky. <laughs> Then you have an eau de parfum, mm. and that normally is about 15, 20 at the yeah. very, very highest. Yes. Yeah. And then you have an extra An extra collection, exactly. So basically, regarding the, 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 the mix, uh, the, the concentration uh, is what you said. So the extra de parfum is over 25 in some cases. So, so what you can fit is like the, the fragrance is a little bit oily, so respect to the, the, the parfum, because it contains can... le- less water. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can see it on your skin. You can see it on your skin. skin. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And the, the price of this, because, I mean, we talk about extra de parfum as well, we uh, wanted to underline, you know, so yeah. it's good, it's, a, it's a, a good affordable price for an extra de parfum. I've never seen extra at this price level before. Yeah. yeah. Very, very. I go expensive. back. Yeah. The value for money from these guys, the authenticity behind the brand, the care of sourcing good Australia. local Do ingredients. Mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah please. Here we go. See? Oh, all oh, of the Italians oh, really. Oh, la, la. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what we of course. I mean, <laughs> I think everyone, if you haven't already and you have some retail space left, here you go. Spray Got this it. on the skin because we're left with one final one. Uh, I will let Marcelo pronounce this because if I'm not mistaken, yeah, yeah. It's a. Yurua. That's correct. No. Yurua. It's a. Spanish. It, it's a, um, a famous river uh, in South America between Peru and uh, Brazil. Yeah. Uh, the con- I mean, the idea uh, of olfatology is to uh, focus on uh, the importance of water nowadays, especially, yeah. you know, because of the, all the troubles that we have with the global warming. And so, so water is important. And we thought to dedicate to each continent a uh, fragrance. So that one is related to the South America. Uh, Take up to Oceania and yeah. whatever. Do you smell the, what's the most important uh, nodes in size? It's related to Brazil. So there's a specific node. I get it actually quite a spicy component. Spicy, yeah, 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 yeah. and uh, coffee beans. Ah. You see it? Yeah. <laughs> coffee beans makes actually the, 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 the heart of yes. the fragrance. Yes, yeah. And that's you, you unique. I'm always reluctant to, sp- uh, to spray like a, um, an oriental, and it does have an ambery component to it. There's a warmth to it. So I'm always reluctant to spray those kind of fragrances in summer. Mm. For me, these are a winter style fragrances. Yep. The store owner, her name is Sandra. As I came in, we were going out to do our filming, very hot day yesterday. And I said to Sandra, show me anything and, and I'll, I'll put it on. Now, she showed me Yurua, she goes, this one. And in my mind, Sandra's watching me, I, said, <laughs> I thought, no, 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 that's gonna be too warm, it's not gonna work, it's gonna be too cloying, but, I said to her, recommend me something. I can't now say no, no, no. So I grabbed it and ba, 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 I sprayed it. Enjoy. Oh my God. <laughs> Yurua is magical. So it works in winter. I was wearing it before I left. Yeah, yeah. But as a summer fragrance with the heat, I mean, even to the point, I think at one stage we started, I started sweating and, and Yurua was just exploding. Exactly. Just, of course. The sillage on this is beautiful. The projection, the people around me can yeah. smell it. Great longevity, even at, at of an evening. So now, what eight hours deep? I could still smell it on me. Yeah. So really, yeah. really yeah. glorious fragrance. Yeah. So I'm getting some comments, and I'd like to read these because you guys have got awesome noses. Well done for you. So Rachel says she's picking up coffee and yeah. raspberry. You see? Oh, yeah. And now Good raspberry. Nose. That. That, that beautiful raspberry note. Yes, yeah, coffee yeah. and rose I'm getting from Greg. Kerry is saying, I've been wearing this one all week. Good for you, Kerry. Rachel is saying, I have been looking for a gorgeous rose perfume that isn't sickly and grandma-like. I, I, you know, I, I love when rose is done in a very clever, yeah. unique way, you know? Yeah. So congr- congratulations. Ro- you would have to say rose is probably one of the most used. Exactly, it's very crucial how you use the rose. Yeah. It's like more or less what, I mean, using bergamot. Yes. We would like to introduce a wonderful man who's been sitting on the side very patiently. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Mauro. Mauro, would you like to, Just to come around? See you. Come around Thank yeah. you. Hi, everybody. 
Nice to see you, even if I can see you. <laughs> <laughs> Simone, do you I'm want to? I'm very glad to, to be here. Yeah, yeah. Maro is, I mean, runs the, you know, the, 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 the company, okay? And uh, he actually was the creator of the cannabis. I mean, he came oh, into the office yeah. and uh, he says, I want to make like a cannabis collection. So that's Boom. why we, yeah, yeah, that's why we started. So the idea actually came from him. Ah. Yeah. And how is Mauro connected to the history of the brand? Well, I mean, he's part of the Galardi family. That's it. So he uh, keeps go rolling the, the heritage of the Galardi uh, family and the way they interpret the, the perfume making you know, story. You know? yeah. So that's why. Yeah. yeah. Off camera, we were talking with Mauro. Do you want to share some of the visions that you had for the brand? For the future? Yeah, for the future. We have a lot of uh, ideas every time and uh, we try not to launch too many products <laughs> because there are too many but uh, so for next uh, six months yeah at the end of uh, this year early months of the 2023 yeah we will launch uh, a very important product yeah yeah, 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 yeah there were two, two exactly yeah, exactly yeah. keep so guys posted. keep in touch keep in touch and, uh, yeah yeah and see actually when we when we walked in something caught our attention because I thought that I recognized everything in your lovely boutique but we, we have it you. all thank you but one thing on the table uh, I thought oh Simona what's this my friend would you like to introduce uh, the, the new collection behind yes. you? Over there. Yeah. yeah exactly these are not found in Australia not yet but so I want you to send an email to him yeah and say you need to bring these these yeah. are we were wearing them yesterday yeah so the one that, so there are, uh, it's a collection of four? Four, four. Yes. yeah, yes. call it prestige collection. Yes. And yeah, only in uh, 50 ml size, yes. the concentration is extremely high, yes. same level of olfatology, uh, exactly, yeah, it's even treatable. More. Yeah, even more. Even more, yeah. 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 And yeah. tell us yeah. about, you know, the fragrance. I yeah. actually chose this <laughs> one to show you guys on camera. Yeah. It's our favorite, Marcelo and I both wore it yesterday. This is Duro Cafe. Yeah. Honestly, one of the most stunning coffee fragrances I've ever. I've never smelled anything as good as this. It's a handy painted. Just, oh. you know. Yeah. So this camera here is... Yeah, exactly. Every single um, bottle is yeah. different from the, each other. Ah. And that what makes like uh, the fragrance unique. Yeah. That's words. Yeah. 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 So when I saw it on the table, I thought, hmm, I wonder if we're <laughs> going to get this. After wearing that yesterday, yeah. Simone took us out for uh, espressos. Yeah. You know? After having a coffee and then smelling this, I, I called back to Australia. I called Boris and Jess back in Australia. I said, listen, there's four here. <laughs> Must. I want them. We're getting them. We're getting them. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful fragrances. Yeah. 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 And for our, for a, as a winter fragrance, as a, you know, it's gourmand, but it's not too much. No, too aggressive. It's, it's very deep. It's very sensual. It's a, these are really... There's the, there's the orange one. I put the orange one there. Uh, it's over there. Look. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Yeah, on the Because the yeah. orange Puma, one. Uh, the from the fragrances, two gourmand yeah. and two with wood. The orange one is. That's your favorite, Kevin, is it, wasn't it? Masala. Oh, so yeah. mine's this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, all right, cool. This one is. Uh, Fondente Arancio. Fondente Arancio. Yeah. yeah. It's, you know, it's not a, a normal word. It's, yeah. So it comes from our uh, imagination. imagination. Yeah, imagination. Right. But basically reminds the. Um, a chocolate and orange, you know, the, the chocolate, chocolate orange, and dark and chocolate. Orange. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Awesome. When we get them, yeah. or when Oliga gets them, you got to come to the store. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You have to come in. Gorgeous. Well, before we go, Mauro, would you yeah. like to say anything else? Would you? I'm very happy you're here. Thank you for everything. Thank you for to for following us, our products. Yeah. Your Thank patient. You yeah. yeah. You're welcome. Now, before we go, we actually, you know what? Unmute yourself, everybody. <laughs> we want to hear you. Enough of this me reading on the side. We've got some questions, maybe? We have some questions, so let's have a look. Let the chaos begin. We want to hear you guys. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Ciao. This is... Who, whom are we speaking to? Um, this is Rachel. Hi. Hi, Rachel. Ciao. Rachel. Hi. Ciao. Hi. Hi, guys. Kerry. Kerry. And Andrew. <laughs> Andrew. Did you guys enjoy? Did you enjoy the evening? Thank you. Do you have any questions for us when it comes to perfume or something that you would like us to elaborate a bit more on? If no is the answer, then we did our job. So, so 
yeah. mission accomplished. Yeah. I actually would, would love to know, Kerry, what's, what's one or two of your favorites from this evening today? Oh, the cannabis frittata. Oh. <laughs> Cannabis frittata was, yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty realistic. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Good choices. Hello. Ciao. Um, I don't know what to say. But, um... <laughs> You're shy, shy. Your favorite. Did any, did any of the fragrance stand out for you, Jay? Montalenti? Montalenti? Yeah, yeah. Montalenti. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That one, that one, yeah. yeah. That one's, um, because I like the one, so it's very interesting. Wow. Interesting. Um, the Kappa, I remember I came to the store. I'm not sure if you remember the Kappa. I went to the store this one, that one. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's funny. In, we were mentioning before that a lot of the youth in Australia, they don't know too much about fragrances yet. Mm -hmm. Jay. Jay, if I may say, Jay is 20 hmm? years old, and he is the leader for the youth. He is the one bringing in all these young kids into our shop. Every time he comes in, he brings in a new group of friends. I'm like, oh! Jay, you're doing... Good you're, stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Jay's nose is impressive. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he works in fragrances. So yeah. He, he, he very, oh. very passionate, very yeah. passionate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, the so if you can see here, I mean, you can, you can, you know, we can work on... Jay, yeah. Jay, you need to come, come to Italy. Yeah, <laughs> come to Italy. Yeah. Everybody smells good in Italy, for starters. Everybody's invited. <laughs> Actually, yeah, everybody, come into Italy. <laughs> Everyone, humbly, we thank you all, honestly, because uh, this is this is exciting. It I was mean, a, a beautiful experience. It's I mean, exciting for us. Before, I mean, what, so what a joy you. to be able to share this with you. Uh, we're grateful for the technology that it all worked, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you were a bit worried. I was worried. <laughs> <laughs> but everything was fine. Thank everything you. was fine. Yes. Thank you for your organization. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you Sandra. Sandra. Ah, Sandra. yes, special, special. Oh, Sandra, New York, Sandra. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right, gang, thank you so much. Appreciate All you right. jumping in. See you soon. We'll yeah. see you. See you soon. Yeah. See you soon. Yeah. Bye bye. Bravo! Bravo! Thank you. Wow, thank you very much. Beautiful. You guys all look very handsome. Oh. <laughs>